prepare now to enter into the kerygma of that which will guide and he who shall lead. What is the truth saying regarding those desiring to be a bishop over the local church? He has been called pastor. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. What must a bishop be? A bishop must then, then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. What must a bishop avoid being? Not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, not impatient, not a brawler, not covetous. How must a bishop be as the priest of his own home. One that ruleth well his own home, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the, of the church of God? Regarding Christian experience, what must a bishop be? Not a novice. Least being lifted up with pride, he fall into condemnation of the devil. What reputation is a bishop is a bishop required to have among those outside of the church? He must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Pastors, pastor. Pastor Diamond, do you pledge to try and uphold these qualifications at all times? I do with God's help. Do you pledge to encourage others to use the names and titles God ordained for them and for you specifically? I do with God's help. Amen. And now the act. Yeah. The act of the laying on of hand. Might every head be bowed and every eye closed. Gracious God, our Father, we honor you. We exalt you and we extol you. We praise you for who you are. We come at this moment, God, in the posture of submission and surrender, thanking you for this manservant whom you have given unto us. God, we call his name with clarity. Thank you for Tom Edward Diamond, whom you blessed to lead this local congregation for many years. Now, God, we've come to confirm upon him and to agree as brothers in the faith and of the ministry and sons of this man of God who mentored us into the rightful place of preaching the gospel and leading other local congregations. We've come to say to him and to you, God, that we cover him and bless him and anoint him and ordain him as our bishop. Thank you for giving him those leadership qualities over the years. And we say to this congregation that 
that from this day forward, we would acknowledge him in the rightful place as bishop of our souls. Thank you for the preach in him. Thank you for the word that comes forth from him. Thank you for his anointing, God, and raise him up, God, to lead others even the more into their rightful place in Jesus Christ. We glorify you. We praise you. And I thank you for him. Keep him from the hand of the enemy. Put a hedge of protection all around him. And even as he takes on this newfound position in you, God, we ask you protect him from the, from the critics and those who would have malice to say against him. Keep him strong, God, in the faith. In the name of Jesus, we believe you, God, and know that you have ordained this. And any time one comes with revelation, there is always resistance. So we bind the mouth of the enemy. We bind the mind of the devil. In the name of Jesus, that what this movement will suggest will be glorified in your name. To God be the glory, great things you are doing. And we thank you for Bishop Tom Edward Diamond. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. And to the Abyssinia Church and to all of those who are here with us today, as he is being congratulated and blessed by the brothers of, of this ministry and those who were birthed out of this ministry, I would have everyone who can stand to stand and let's receive uh, our presiding prelate, uh, which is the leader of the Baptist Bishops Conference International, Bishop Pastor Tom Edward Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> 